the first one that you are aware of uh, is very common it's called machine error machine error or inherited machine error what does this mean so you you all are aware of that there is something called least count least count least count represent the minimum calculation that any electronic or mechanical device can compute for you. there is a something precision that that the machine cannot compute anything more than that so if the machine is making an error this is because of least count or any deformation or damage to the calculation uh, uh, or the calculating device then when uh, whatever the reading you will try to compute is always contains an error so usually you have an error from the machine as well a machine is not like a physical machine it can be a calculator it can be a computer or it can be a measuring tape or anything that you can use to compute the uh, reading so we simply call if there is any error source present in the machine or a device then you also end up with the error in your calculation as well so it is called machine error so it is just an idea that your device when you are using you should know about this least count values that okay it, you can cannot compute more than that amount or minimum that amount after that it will give the reading which is not reliable so this is the one source of the other let's focus mostly on the other part which is for us very important it's called uh, from the mathematical point of view we call it truncation error sorry let's do it uh, easiest one first let's call it round of error round of error students uh, what does round of error means usually uh, during working what we do uh, when we have a decimal places uh, rather than using the whole decimal places we try to uh, convert it into a certain number or a fixed number of decimal places for example uh, there is a number let's say 2.5178 for example so if i uh, this is the let's say some reading y let's assume this is the exact reading make it easy for us this is the exact reading. but due to some calculation point of view we decided not to use this whole number incomplete in fact we want to use this approximate class we want to use its approximation so let's say we decided we will approximate the number to three decimal places so in this case 2.518 would be a proper choice because the third decimal place is this one and the number afterward is greater than or equal to five so we add up one this is our rule or round off so when we do that we tend, we discard this part we discarded this part by shifting the effect of discard into this value so this is the approximate value so when one can clearly see whenever i use this thing as a calculation onward it brought up the error because this is not the actual reading because actual reading is 2.5178 but onward i am using 2.518 so whatever the reading i will get using y cap is not exact so round of error which we usually do for our ease of calculation usually end up with the error in the calculation keep in mind this thing i will explain in the next slide as well that what would be the significance of these two uh, uh, impact during the calculation so this is the machine error maybe you got uh, some reading from a device which is wrong so you end up with the error containing reading similarly round off you can have a error in the calculation if you use this number anywhere you brought forward the error in your calculation as well uh, another example could be like y equal to 2.5173 and the question is you still need a three decimal places so what you can do you can replace this by by y cap as 2.517 by discarding the other term because the number is less than 5 for example so you can change it so if you use this calculation you are making an error because you can clearly see there is a difference between these two quantities so if i compute uh, y minus y cap in this case y minus y cap 
so i will get something uh, let's say absolute value so i will get something 0 0.0 0 0 1 no 0 3 some amount just an idea there exists some error so this amount of error i have already introduced in this calculation so if i use this thing in a, in the calculation onward let's say by computing weights heights or uh, reference so all those results will can has a inherited properties of error that is it is inherited by the round of error similarly there is third possibility which we usually uh, use in mathematics is called truncation error truncation error this is the source what happened for example if i ask you uh, what is the series expansion of ex so your answer is 1 plus x plus x square upon 2 factorial plus x cube upon 3 factorial and so on we usually put so on dot 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 but whenever i ask you let's use it in a calculation so we all know that sometimes we made error what we do we made error by saying okay let's drop out certain terms of this expression so that we can use it in the calculation but keep in mind that whenever I'm say ex equal to this quantity, which means that this only holds equality when I add all the terms that I can compute. No, all the terms. In fact, not I can compute all the terms I need to add there. So if I cannot do this, then I am making a mistake. So if I say, okay, I can only want to use the first three terms of this series so can i say that ex is equal to one plus x plus x square over two factorial no in this case i can only say ex can be approximated because this is not equal to in any case because i have truncated other terms so whenever you truncate something you brought the error in the calculation Although the only reason for truncate is just to have a ease in calculation because we think that adding or including all the computations is very difficult. So what we did, we 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 just truncate without any rule. We just truncate. Okay, two decimal, two trumps, three trumps, four trumps. So we usually do that. So what does the truncation error means? Usually, when we convert, when we convert any infinite process into finite process so if someone asks you when you have a truncation error so you can say that uh, whenever we try to just for our ease try to convert any infinite what is the infinite process in this example by the way the infinite process is if you want to say this series is equal to ex then you have to compute all possible infinite terms that you can have in this possible then it is equality holds so but it is not physical feasible for us so what we do we, we said okay let's convert this infinite process into a finite because it for finite means only contains three terms or four terms five terms we know these terms so whenever we do this we basically introduce error in the calculation so now onward in place of ex if i use this term so i am containing error in my calculation so this is one of the common source of error as well in mathematics a truncate let's chop it out let's make it easy for our calculation so these are some sources machine error instrumental error precision and these kind of things.